So in this video, I wanted to take a look at a Lamy Ion Rollerball. And this is the AION pen from Lamy. I believe it was first released in 2017. And it's just a uh, really nice aluminum rollerball. It sells for a fairly reasonable price. It's about, uh, I wanna say about $55, give or take. Fairly easy to find, used, but uh, it's not as old as some older pens, as some other pens. So uh, there's less of them floating around. In the past, I had looked at the Ion in the ballpoint. This is again, the roller ball. And there are some differences. That is not, does not have a cap. This is capped. So the fountain pen and the roller ball are very similar. The ballpoint is rather different. So taking a look at this pen, we can see it has a brushed aluminum body and uh, it's very nicely done. It's got a nice texture to it. Like I said, it has a, a brushed look and feel, which gives it a nice, nice feel. It can be uh, a little bit scratchy if you rub your nail against it. It's sort of a nail on a chalkboard type feeling, but just on your fingers, it's quite nice. Nothing really on the top there, just the sort of milled aluminum or CNC'd aluminum. And it does have that sort of machined feel to it. On the cap, we see a really nice clip. I think the clip is one of the nicer features of this pen. It's stainless steel, spring backed, and it says Lamy right here on that one side there. This also has a sort of machined feel to it. You can see some of the machine qualities. There's a little uh, piece right there. I'm not really sure what function it serves. Maybe to differ differentiate the roller ball from the fountain pen, but I don't have the fountain pen, so I couldn't tell you there. And like I said, the ballpoint does not have a cap. You can see here that the aluminum meets up with the plastic right here, or at least some sort of metal, it's hard to tell. And that's just the sort of the liner and what actually inside, there's something that holds it in uh, it's a little bit hard to tell what does what, uh, but you can see there's definitely a little bit of, it goes from brushed to gloss. And I can't really tell if that's plastic or metal right there. Look at it now, there's a good chance it is metal. The cap has a little bit of rattle to it. It's on there and it's on there fairly well, but if you could hear that, definitely a little bit of rattle to it. So some interesting decisions made and, and I don't think all of them were perfect for the ION. It doesn't really post. It's a big pen and if this goes on, it's loose. And you can see this right here. So I would say this is not a pen that I would post. It'll rattle. I have heard about some people putting some tape or some uh, piece of paper in there to sort of lock this down more, but it's still not quite secure and it tends to have a little bit of rattle. You could push it down pretty hard, but then I'm getting concerned about what it's doing to the liner in here and the top of this aluminum. So not really a great posting pen. As for the body itself, you can see it's brushed and the brush stops and now it's with a, a matte sort of a satin finish. And this is also, I believe, aluminum. Again, just with the satin finish. And that's, it's nicer on your fingers, but it's definitely more slippery. This is a slippery pen to me. And then back to the brush finish here. And then a smooth transition into the refill. Opening it up, you could see it uses standard Lamy M63, so that is the capped rollerball refill. Inside it has uh, some brass there, and that's just so that, and I believe this piece is aluminum, I wanna say, like machined aluminum. Could be machined steel, it's a little bit hard to tell. Uh, but putting the brass lets this go in and out very easily, which is nice to see. Inside we can just see some, just the uh, looking down, it's a little hard to tell. We can make out some aluminum after the brass. Then here, again, uh, not sure on the materials here, but it is all metal. The pen has very little plastic on it. You get the standard M63 in black, which is a solid refill, you know? I think these weren't that good a couple years ago, but uh, they've gotten a lot better. 
very simple construction, easy fit. And like with most salami roller balls, getting a different refill in there, usually not a problem. I'm okay with this M63 right now, but if you want to get a uh, Pentel Energel refill in there or a G2, like a Pilot G2 style refill, that's usually not a problem. Pushing it down, pretty good click. Not ideal, pretty good. And again, there's a little bit of rattle here. I've heard about that being bad and it driving some people with the uh, fountain pen version fine. I haven't found that to be a really big issue. And like, listen, do you hear it? No, nothing there. So that about covers it. I want to do a quick size comparison. You can see it next to a Sharpie. It's definitely a bigger pen. It's got a wide body, a lot to hold on to right there and not much of a taper. So there's it next to the Sharpie and here's it next to a, uh, this is a Lamy Studio, which is uh, not a huge pen, like kind of like I would call it a medium sized. So the uh, Ion is definitely larger. The cap off, you can see quite sizable compared to the Sharpie. A lot bigger than the Studio. And then if you have something like, uh, this is a Twisby Eco. That section is, sorry about that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good deal bigger. So I'll have the measurements up uh, in the link below. So you can check it out there. And then as for data use, just have some scrap paper around. I think I've done a lot of writing here with the M63 refill, but this is the Lamy M63 medium. This has turned into a pretty nice standard rollerball refill. Do not have any problems with this one. So uh, I have not flipped it out, although you can in the future, and I'll, maybe I'll do a video on that if there's interest. So yeah, that is the Lamy Ion rollerball. I would not in any way categorize this as a must have. Uh, and then there's some there are some quirks, like it being one of Lamy's newer pens, and then uh, not everyone loves the feel of brushed aluminum. Again, it could have that nail and chalkboard type feeling if you brushed against it with your nail. Uh, but really nicely built, and you could find some pretty good deals on these online through uh, eBay and some other places like that for like, you know, $60. I'm not quite sure. I would recommend it if you could find it for under 40. I think it's a really solid pickup then. But it is a nice pen. It's a really good size and it's fun to use. A little bit slippery. And I think some of these features here are not like this little ridge here. It's not particularly well done to me. Uh, I believe I dropped this one at some point. So it a little bit of the black coating scratched off. Not really a big deal, but those things happen. So yeah, that's a Lamy Ion, nice pen, not really a must have. Actually, I tend to like this thing in the ballpoint more, which is a rarity for me. I just think Lamy has some other roller balls with some more character, even though it is a pretty well-rounded pen. So that about covers it. Thanks for watching.